how to use your color palette 48. In this video, I'm going to show you what is included in the color palette 48, what it is for and how to use it for best results. All my color palettes have a very specific function that you need to know about to make the right choices when you want to book one. The color palette 48 is specifically designed for a full wardrobe update, meaning when you want to renew all your pieces in your wardrobe. Let's have a look at what you will get with color palette 48. First of all, this is everything that you will get, including your video analysis your various color cards, but also your single color cards. Let's dive in detail into every single card and what it is for. Now your color palette 48 is divided in two different color palettes. The first one is just with your 48 colors divided into neutrals and your colors. And the second color card is a copy of the first one with the difference that I include a little image of you that you send me for the analysis into each and every color so that when you zoom into the color palette, you see your image so that you can make much better decisions when you are choosing certain colors because that you will not be able to do just by looking at the colors. The only thing that you will know with this color palette is that they are 100% aligned with your true color type and what colors are included. So for a rough overview of all your colors, but you will not know for certain how these single colors will look on you. So this is a big advantage of this specific color card. The next card that you will get is your color combinations card, where you will see color combinations between two colors, but also three colors. And in total, you will have 30 color combinations. And there are far more color combinations that you could create specifically with your color palette 48. There are endless possibilities of how you could combine your colors. But I will always try to find the best ones that I present on your color combination card. You will also get your single color cards with each of the 48 colors presented on a single color card with a unique color name that you will only find with ray colors. You will not find those names anywhere else. They are unique to my color library. You'll also find the hex code should you want to create different designs and inspiration boards. For example, inside Canva, this will save you time to use a color picker, for example, to have the exact colors in your design. Every single color card also includes an internal color code that is unique to my color library. You will not find that color code anywhere else because this code will first of all help you to see what your color is based on. On, for example, this specific code with CP19 tells you that this is a cool pink based color. 19 is the number where your color is situated from one to roughly 30 to 40 different shades of one U is presented inside my color library for each and every U. So you will know that 19 is somewhere in the middle. Right. So you will know that this is probably a color palette for a medium chroma type. This specifically is also attributed to various chroma types, the number that you will find. Secondly, knowing this code, you will also know what colors to look for in the stores, because sometimes it's really difficult to know whether this color is really a pink or already a purple, right? Or what this specific color is based on. Is it a yellow? Is it an orange? Is it maybe a very light red? You, you you will not know if your eyes are not trained. So I want to make it easier for you to recognize that by providing these internal codes that you will also find inside the Ray Studio app. Should you choose to use all your material and cards inside the Ray Studio app, I'm providing much more insights and documents and articles how to use your material. Next up are the color combination cards that you will receive, both the three color combinations and the two color combinations. Again, I have repeated for each and every color, the color name that you will also find on your single color cards, the hex code and the internal color code so that you don't have to look up every single color on your single color cards and so on. So I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to know what this color is, where it is coming 
coming from, what color it is based on, how to create your own designs or your own inspiration boards or outfit boards with an easy to find hex code so that shopping is fun again. And lastly, your jewelry and metals card. There are two cards. The first one is a general outline of all the metals that you will find from gold, silver to rose gold, diamonds, pearls, all types of uh, metals and uh, stones you will find on this card recommended to you and both whether I recommend unpolished or polished metals. And the second card is developed specifically for you to see several examples of the metal particularly. So if I recommend someone to wear not cool gold, but warm gold, you will see examples here, right? This is the example of warm gold. Silver is not recommended for this person. Warm rose gold, though, is recommended. You will see examples here. Cool pearl is not recommended, but warm pearl, right? So this is a warm pearl variation, specifically with a golden metal with it. So that is also something that you need to pay attention to. These two recommendations always apply to all the metals that I recommend above. So if, for example, I recommend a person polished metals, this oftentimes means that your chroma is rather muted or soft. Unpolished metals will just be too overbearing for your color type. Now I want to go more in depth with the 30 color combinations that I provide you with with your color palette 48. And the first use case is to directly use your color combinations card by going in and choosing the direct color combinations that I recommend you here. For example, if you start with the very first color combination that I provide you with, this is an example for this particular color palette that I've developed. You go into your favorite store and you take your single color card on one side and the store on the other side and you compare the colors between the single color card and all the designs that you see in the store and you choose the ones that you feel like this is beautiful this is what i want to wear and you copy that i use canva personally to create all my outfit boards because it's very easy to use and it's very fast and it's free for most use cases though i use the paid version because i need more as a designer so you choose just the designs that you absolutely love that are directly linked to the specific colors that are presented with the color combination. As you can see here, I was just searching in one single store, the favorite one that I always go to, if I start collecting my outfits. And you will find various pieces in the respective colors. What I like to do is being very open-minded when I go into a store because most probably I will not find what I have in my mind perfectly. So I keep my mind very open and I just collect all the pieces that I love. Because it is a full wardrobe update with the color palette 48, I am even more open-minded because it's not a capsule wardrobe, but I want to upgrade my entire wardrobe. I just collect the pieces that I love, even though that I will not necessarily be able to create a full outfit with those presented colors. I am just collecting because with the full wardrobe update, you have to be very realistic. No matter how many stores you will look into, it might be very well the case that you will not find a complete outfit for all 30 color combinations on day one. So you have to be realistic. So what you do is you are open-minded to just collecting your most beautiful pieces and putting them together on a board and you take time. You take time of a whole season to upgrade your entire wardrobe. Three months is the time frame that you should be looking out for to develop your full wardrobe update. You start collecting now and you continue collecting, let's say once once a week, you take the time to go through your store and look for various color combinations and you just add the pieces that are missing. For example, here it already looks very complete. For example, this is a beautiful outfit that I can imagine wearing right now with these shoes or even with these shoes, if it's an event, for example, or just this dress, or just this dress, right, with these shoes. It's already complete with this uh, bag, for example. I just throw on a jacket if it's cooler outside, and I'm done, I'm good. And these two pieces can be uh, switched with this one, so it's already a complete 
collection, if you will, for this particular color combination. During the time where I was collecting those outfits, you can see that for this particular colors, it was more difficult to find pieces, but still I was able to find three. And especially if you're using high quality pieces, you don't want to rush things. You want your full wardrobe upgrade to be excellent and elevated. This is not a rushed project. As I said, three months is a minimum time that you should invest into upgrading your wardrobe if you want it to last for a long time. Sometimes you will just not find the right colors in the stores for the exact colors that you're looking for. Now, the second use case for your color palette 48 is not focusing on the color combinations that you have and following the color combinations that I recommend you on the card, but the use case of finding your colors, meaning when you're browsing through this store and you find a piece and you think like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. I just, I want to wear that. I want to have that. And you're wondering, is this the right color for me? How would you go about that? having your color palette 48. Let's say you found this cardigan for autumn winter time and you just find it so cozy, you want to have it. Let's see if this particular color would be suited for my color type. I would go into Canva and I would use a color picker to create the same color to just be very clear about it. And I create a second circle beside that to make sure I find the root color of this color. And you can see that in Canva very easily when you are choosing your colors. You just see the full color spectrum and you can see the root color of every color that you can color pick, so to speak. Now I can decide whether red is within my color spectrum. How do I do that? Is by choosing my single color cards. To be very efficient and economically, obviously, I only choose the warm single color cards because I don't need the cool color cards, right? I don't need the greens. Here it is about the warm color spectrum. Since I know that red is within my color spectrum, I can pull up my three single cards that are all within the warm color range and I can check and cross check and I can compare all these three colors with the given color. Let's see, it's not the same color, even though it looks quite close. This color is based on red, so it is close, but it is too light. Now I check this color, Velvet Rose, and I see it's also based on red. So this is the closest color, also from a depth perspective, and it seems to be the most perfect fit. So if I find a single color card, that is as close as possible to the fabric that I want to buy, then I can securely buy that fabric knowing that it is within my color range. If on the other hand, for example, I would have not found any of these three colors to be suited or close enough to my given color, I would simply not buy that piece because it is not within my color range, no matter how much I love that piece. I will simply not buy it. And sometimes you will have to be very strict with yourself and really set boundaries when it comes to buying stuff that in the end you will not wear because when you look in the mirror, you will see the dissonance. It doesn't make sense to have pieces in your wardrobe that you don't wear. Another use case is the jewelry and metals card. And how you would use this card is by looking at the jewelry and metals card, first of all, and detect all the check marks that I've given you. For example, here we have a check mark with warm gold, warm rose gold, warm pearl, and polished. So I know I can wear polished versions of all those metals, rose gold, 
warm gold. And the pearl, obviously pearls are not polished, but it, it is okay. Pearls are muted in itself, so they are not very shiny. So they are well suited for uh, medium and soft chroma types very well. So I would go into the stores and I would look for pieces that would represent the description that I just got with my jewelry and metals card. And with the jewelry and metals example card, you will even be more sure what to look for. Though you have to bear in mind that I'm only offering a representation of the metal. When I'm choosing the pieces, I'm not checking for your face shape, whether it is aligned with your face shape. Uh, I'm not checking for your style type. And I'm not also aligning this with any occasion because here with this color palette 48 it is about the metal so that you know which metals can you wear just in general the same principles will apply for other metals for example in belts but also in bags when i recommend warm gold for you and you are looking at a bag that you are falling in love with pay attention to the metal that you see in the bag right if it is silver Avoid it because it will not look flattering with everything else that you will choose. Make sure that the metals across your wardrobe really are aligned and are consistent because that will create a really polished and professional look. If you find it very difficult to find the right jewelry and accessories for your face shape, style type and occasion, I have separate style services for that that you can check out in the description. But for the color palette 48, I want you to focus on the metal itself and start upgrading your mindset when it comes to that, to keeping it consistent throughout your wardrobe, no matter is it uh, your earrings, your necklace, your rings, your belts, your bags. When you have any accessories on jackets, for example, also pay attention to the metals that are used. The buttons also play a big role in the entire look of your wardrobe. All this material that I have presented to you here, the entire color palette 48 with your color cards, the single color cards, the color combinations cards, your jewelry cards, everything you will find inside the Ray Studio app. I will send it to you to download all your material via email and I will also create a separate folder inside the Ray Studio app that is only dedicated to you. Only you have access to that folder where you will find your color card and your single color cards and all the information that you will need to use your color cards. If you have any questions about the color palette 48, leave them in the comments. If you want me to find your true color type and develop your 48 best colors, check out the description where I will leave a link. If you love this video, leave a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to elevate your style and health this year. And I recommend watching this video next.